Why haven't the aliens visited our solar system yet? Can you let me finish, please? <laughs> because they checked our reviews, only one star. All right. I'm sorry. All right, good night, guys. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> okay. Serious. Serious time now. Okay, so my scripture is Matthew chapter 14, verse 25 through 31. If you could pull it up, please, for me. This is right after Jesus fed the 5,000 with five loaves of bread and two fish. It says, verse 25, Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost, and they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous he was afraid and beginning to sink he cried out saying lord save me and immediately G jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him oh you of little faith why did you doubt <laughs> so the moment that that peter took his eyes off of Jesus. More importantly, the moment that Peter took his trust off of Jesus, that's the moment that he started to sink. And the moment that we give our, en our attention to the enemy and we don't put our trust in Jesus, that's the moment that we start to sink. See, the thing that diluted, the, diluted Peter's trust was the distraction. So over the summer, I've I like to work out sometimes, you know, just like here and there. It's no biggie. It's no big deal. But um, I have this weight set on my back porch, so, you know, I want to take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, when you're working out in the middle of the summer, when it's upwards of like, oh, I don't know, like 180 degrees, and you're lifting weights, you want to get done as fast as possible so you could get back inside to go and take a shower. It's like a quick in and out mission, you know? And I don't know what it is about my backyard, but it's like, I guess, the hot spot for like all wasps, bees, and hornets in the greater Collin County area. And they all love to come to my backyard, especially when I'm working out. So one day, I was... <laughs> I was working out, and this monstrosity of a creation wanders into my backyard. And this thing is like, if like a bee ate something radioactive and turned into like a Hulk bee, that's what this thing looks like. I could see, I could see this thing's shadow on the ground from like 20 feet away, okay? That's how big this thing was. Okay, and I'm working out and it flies up on me and I'm, I don't know what to do. So I stop working out and I just freeze. I back away and I wait for it to do its thing and leave. And it eventually does. It takes about like 10 minutes of me just sitting there doing this. My dad was probably watching me from inside like, yep, there's my son. <laughs> no, 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 he wasn't saying that. He was that's not my dad. But, um. I wait for it to leave, and it finally does, and I go back to working out, and then it comes back again, and like I, we go through another 10 minutes of this, and uh, me and this bee probably do this little dance like another three or four times before I realize that if I don't give it the time of day, then it, it's not going to bother me. If I don't go up to it and deliberately like start swatting at it, then it, I'm not going to die. And... Uh, See, if you put your mind to something, if you put your focus on something and put your trust in him, 
you can accomplish anything you want to. But the moment that you take your eyes off of what's important and you take your trust off of him, that's the moment that you start to sink. And uh, I feel like we get this same situation in different versions in our lives every day. Like, man, I really, like mine was, man, I really want to get my workout done, but I don't want to die because I don't want to get stung by this huge radioactive bee. Or, man, I really want to go do this, but like, what if I mess up? Or I really want to go talk to this person, but what if they shoot me down, you know? But I bet if Peter would have kept his focus on what was important on Jesus and put his trust in him, he would have made it all the way to Jesus. And I bet if he got that chance again to do that, he would have learned his lesson and he would have been like, okay, yeah, I know what's going on. I'm going to, why walk? How about I just like speed up my pace a little bit, you know? And if he got that chance again, he would just speed up a little bit more and like each time keep going faster until he was like on a full on sprint across that water to Jesus. And I feel like once we get this understanding that we could, if we keep our focus on him and we keep our trust on him and we accomplish our goals and come out of our battles, then we're going to say, man, this is easy. And our battles and our achievements that we're going to try to get to are going to just be easier and easier and we could just keep on going faster and faster. So, yeah.